Recep Tayyip Erdogan was re-elected as Turkey's president in a historic runoff on Sunday, extending his rule into a third decade with 52.14% of the vote. His victory defies predictions by polls and analysts that suggested he could be beaten by opposition leader Kamal Kilic Daroglu, who was just four percentage points behind. The election took place against a backdrop of a cost-of-living crisis, hyperinflation and earthquakes in February that claimed over 50,000 lives. Erdogan had several advantages going into the elections, including control of 90 percent of the media in Turkey and strong bonds with religious conservatives. As he continues his tenure as the country's longest-serving leader, concerns have been raised about the potential erosion of human rights and free speech in Turkey in the coming years. While congratulations poured in from world leaders following his win, including the first message from Russian President Vladimir Putin, the trajectory of Turkey's foreign policy remains a point of interest. Given Erdogan's previous refusal to ostracize the Kremlin after its invasion of Ukraine, it is likely that Turkey will continue its drift towards neutralism and an independent foreign policy by balancing close ties with both Russia and NATO allies. The White House has been urging Erdogan to approve NATO membership for Sweden, while French President Emmanuel Macron remains concerned about migration to the European Union and hopes to obtain assurances from Erdogan soon.